Brown and Liberty is an MMORPG developed for PC and console and should release in the first part of 2023. So in this Throne and Liberty video, we'll take a look at 10 things that you need to know about Throne and Liberty before it releases. Number 1. Server Capacity Server capacity consists out of 3000 to 5000 players. This means that thousands of players can play and interact with each other in a shared online world, creating a rich and dynamic game experience. The game is being developed on Unreal Engine 4 and might have been upgraded to Unreal Engine 5, providing the game with cutting edge graphics and game mechanics. Number 2. Character Customization In Front and Liberty, players can create their own human character and customize it by uploading pictures of themselves. The game has limited character customization options though, but it still provides players with enough freedom to create a unique character that represents their playstyle and personality. Number 3. Player Transformations Player transformations are a crucial aspect of Frown and Liberty. This allows players to move through the world in a variety of ways. The transformation includes wolves, sharks, birds and also siege golems. Players can use these transformations to access new areas and move around the world in different ways, providing a sense of freedom and exploration. Number 4. The Three Pillars of the Open World The Three Pillars of the Open World in Throne and Liberty are environment, events and memorials. The environment aspect relates to the day and night cycle, weather and the effects it has on the game world. Events are tied to regional events, world bosses and guild slash occupation wars, adding excitement and challenges to the game. And finally, memorials are server-wide events that change the game world over time as players contribute to the world. Sounds a lot like Ashes of Creation if you think about it, but this is from in Liberty. Number 5. The Class System The class system in front and Liberty is based on player weapon choice. Players can equip two weapon sets, they can dual wield, mix and match weapons to create a unique class. Similar to New World in that sense where you can equip anything, they'll also be having the Holy Trinity, meaning they'll have a tank, healer and DPS, providing players with a familiar and balanced class system. Players can level all weapons on one character, reducing the need for multiple characters or alts. Number 6. PvE Throne and Liberty places a strong emphasis on PvE, providing players with a great PvE experience. The game has already shown many world bosses, and players can expect a lot of exciting and challenging PvE content in Throne and Liberty. The developers also want to have a more involved story, but they want to have the story to be optional for players that really do not care about story content. Number 7. PvP the status of PvP in Front and Liberty is currently very unclear. There's a lot of things that they say they are going to do and a lot of things that contradict their PvP things. For example, they say that zones are PvP safe zones, some of them, and some are not. But they also suggest that there are open world PvP in dungeons. So it's not really clear at the moment. We're waiting for updates to see if it will change and if they can maybe clarify maybe it's the translation issue but there is also sieges and zones that will have dedicated pvp so there will be pvp in the game but open world pvp is still a bit unclear to us at the moment number eight weather and day and night cycles in front of liberty weather and day and night cycles have a significant effect on the game world, whether it affects player skills, boss power levels, mob spawns, and even the terrain, restricting players from certain areas. The day lasts 4 hours and the night cycle lasts about 1 hour and weather changes naturally every 30 minutes. 
players who are at the top of certain daily leaderboards can use a skill to change various elements of the day, night or weather for 10 minutes. Number 9. World Bosses Throne and Liberty has many world bosses which seems to be in the open world and require large raid groups to defeat. These bosses provide players with challenging and engaging content. Number 10. Dungeons Dungeons are open world and have multiple layers and players can move between these layers. For example, a player can glide down to a lower level to help newer players or just to meet up with their friends. I'm really excited for Throne and Liberty and I can't wait to jump into the game. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future Throne and Liberty content and I'll see you in the next video.